Hi, I'm Future Kate and I messed up the video, so I'm here to introduce you guys to the video because if not, it would make no sense. I recorded it long way up, so I can't use it. Not it's And it's distorting all the other videos. It's a complete mess, so we're just going to re-record it right now. Anyways, I'm going to spend the day with you guys. I'm going to take you guys through a day of being a fun site worker with me. I don't know what I'm allowed to say here on YouTube, so I want to be careful. But yeah, you guys are going to go through a day of working on the fun site with me. And then after that, we're going to do an updated body measurement check-in. I'm really excited. It's been a couple weeks since I started the new program. I'm seeing some amazing results with Manhattan. She is getting juicy, so I'm so excited to check those out and see if I've made any progress. It is a little bit later. We have already started having the coffee. We have tried something new this morning. Well, first, let's peep the baby out a cup. Look how cute! From Mandalorian. I found it when I was at GameStop. It was the best purchase. Came in a pack of four. Anyways. We're trying something new with the coffee. We added that protein shake in, if you guys saw. I've been struggling to get my protein in. I was having three protein shakes of the Premier Protein and chocolate flavor, flavor a day, and I was killing it. But I am, like, capped on that because it's been, like, a few months of me doing that. So I definitely need to find other alternatives. So I grabbed the mocha ones yesterday without noticing that there's coffee, like, caffeine in them. So I can't have them at night, but I was like, oh, let me try to put in my coffee. Honestly, pretty good. It tastes like Starbucks skinny vanilla latte, if you were to ask me. Like, it tastes the same. Not bad for 30 grams of protein. I don't like flavored coffee really all that much, though. Like, I'm a black coffee queen. Sorry, my hair is literally a mess. I just woke up. Um, and so it's like kind of weird. Like, I'm already missing my black coffee, but if this gets me like an extra... 30 grams of protein a day I'll take it anyways so we're enjoying that I have started working because I have a ton of work that I need to get done um and then at the same time I need to do my makeup because I have to film a couple tiki togs along with we are filming for the fun site today so I need mean, myself look pretty um for that so yeah so you guys can you guys can follow me through because at first we're, this was just gonna at first this vlog was just gonna be about like my um measurements fitness updates which will still be happening at the end but i thought i'd show you guys a little bit of like my day of like what i do as a creator on the fun site whatever you want to call that i don't know what youtube allows i'm already in trouble with tiktok i'm not pushing it here so anyways i thought it'd be fun to kind of take you guys along to show you guys what i do for that but yeah all right i'll check back in with you guys later okay you guys here's the finished product here's the finished look we did a little bit more makeup than usual honestly this is like a little bit of my day to day i just have foundation on where typically i don't wear foundation because the girls don't work on her acne and her skin is looking clear and i wore makeup every single day since like middle school because i was so insecure about my acne i had really bad big cystic acne all over my face chest back like everywhere so i wore makeup for forever and then i found the gym blah 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 blah. i started working on my skin i did it naturally for years which was really nice but i did want some more help because i still struggled with certain specific acne and if i was not on point with my food my acne would come back and then that just kind of gets overwhelming so i am now on um this like acne medication that's like a blood pressure medication at the same time anyways it's been working one day on my skin so i haven't been wearing that much makeup but on days that i film for the fun site I do wear more makeup because I got traumatized by somebody that sent me a message about my makeup in one of my it was traumatizing it was so I'm not even gonna lie to you guys it was so mean but it was when it's it's like similar when TikTok would tell me that I was wearing too much makeup and my face does not look good with that much makeup and I would be like nah, wait, 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 wait. you know like it was mean but it was honest like it was honest because I agree I do not look good with that much makeup I am a less makeup queen just with the way my face is it just does not look that good with that much makeup on so although my feelings were very badly hurt by that message <laughs> i think the person was right so i put on a little bit more makeup on the days that i film um but yeah anyways i have to still do my hair because it's a little crazy today so we're gonna fix that and then i have to do some more work on the computer before I start filming, um, cause I also have to film a TikTok, but uh, before I do any filming, I have to finish this work. For those who don't know, which is something I've been really wanting to talk about here on here more, but like, I don't know if anybody would be interested, but it's like a passion of mine, um, is trying to, 
be financially responsible um, and learning like you know whatever better habits because I did not have any financial education growing up I grew up very poor um, so neither did my parents so they didn't know any better um, so anyways all well, the money that I make from the fun site is non-taxed but it needs to be taxed it's not non-taxable money it's very taxable money it's highly taxable money um, because I am self-employed there's extra taxes and so on and so forth um, so I above my skill level above my skill level those who know I was in finance before I did this um, but this is above my skill level so now I have had to hire some people um, to help me out they're not I don't like pay them they're not like my employees but like I had to hire like you know somebody help with my taxes and like whatever and like learn a little bit more about what I'm doing um, in regards to that um, so right now I am balancing my profit and loss books for my tax guy so my tax person can look over it. This is really important. Girls, boys, anything in between. If you want to start your own business, it does not matter what it is. People think that because of what I do, it is not a business. Well, the government finds it a business and the government wants to tax your girl. So do yourself a, fa do yourself a favor, hire a tax person. And then get yourself a business card and everything you purchase put it on the business card so even if you don't know how to balance your own books thankfully i do have some skill um so i can like do my p l's and things like that but if you don't the person who you will hire to do it will have a much easier time and it will cost you less money if you do that so please just go get a business card put everything on there that's business related don't put anything else on it you will thank yourself. You will thank yourself, thank yourself, thank yourself. And then anybody who does do what I do or is an influencer or anything like that, the government wants their money. It is taxable money. They will get their money. <laughs> Just because everybody online tells you that it's not a business and it's not a career and like you know, what the government does not see it that way. They want their money and they will take it. So be responsible. And that's what I'm trying to do. So anyways, that's what I had. And then I have a little meeting with them afterwards. Um, to talk about some other things that I'm getting into. I've talked a little bit about it before my ticky talk got taken down. I'm getting into investing. Um, so I am trying to learn a little bit more about that. But yeah, after that, I will check back in and then I will show you guys like the filming part of it. Cause this is like the back end. This is like the business part of it. This is boring. This is me sitting on my computer. I was on my computer dealing with this stuff for nine hours the other day. This part's boring. The filming is funny. Okay, guys, we're going to take a little detail work real quick. I don't even know what this vlog is. It's kind of a mess. Anyways, so I have a shiz ton of snails, or had before the snail genocide, of snails in my front of my house. Um, and they weren't harming anyone, so I leave them water and stuff, and they used it. I have a photo. They like to use it as like a little pool, right? The, the snails are a big fan. And I'm here for it. That's fine. I'll host. I'll host the snails. It's hot. Alrighty. I'll have some shade. Eddie, that's nice. So they like the shade, and then I leave them some water. But anyways, there's a gem. There's a gem side of my snails and the apartment complex that I live at. It's not her fault, but the lady came by and they were power washing, and she just power washed all of the snails off of my apartment um and it was really sad because there was like 12 snails you guys like it was i mean i guess it was kind of getting a little out of control so maybe that's why they did it but i felt really bad anyways so these are like the little they're the bottoms of um a certain substance that you eat and then you get a um effect afterwards if you get what i'm saying 420 anyways i take the bottom of it and then this is like their little pool and this is their little water thing so anyways, I just film up, I think that's warm water, I don't want that, so I just film up with cold water and I leave it out for them. So that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go leave this out for the snails. Okay, see, much better now. It's all clean, and they have their little jacuzzi back or pool. Well, I don't know when it gets hot enough. It might be a jacuzzi. But anyways, okay, I'm done. That's my little snail sanctuary. Now let's get to filming. Okay, guys, so the TikTok has been posted. It's been edited. It's posted. It is up. It is live. We got ready together. Those have been, like, 
my new favorite thing to do. Well, I used to do them all the time on the Tiki Talk. Let me put some light in here. Um, let me switch you guys around. <laughs> Anyways, I used to do them all the time on the Tiki Talk and then I kind of stopped and I've been doing them again and they're so much fun. They're literally my favorite thing to do. Um, it's like getting ready with you guys. Um, anyways, I have my little fit on from the try on haul. Super cute, right? Fam? There's the booty. Anyways, um, so we just got dressed. We just did that. We took some photos. We took photos for our Instagram for tomorrow. And then we took photos for the fun side for today. But I am feeling pretty good today. My whole thing with the fun side today was just to do um, one video and some photos. But I'm feeling pretty good today. Feeling kind of cute. So I think I'm going to do multiple videos. I have one plan. I'm going to show you guys the outfit for, but I can't show you guys it on me because I'll get into one YouTube, I think. I'm not quite sure because it's sheer, but I'm going to show you guys. And then I think you guys will be able to guess what type of video I'll be making. Okay, guys, I refuse to show this to you guys with the window open where all my neighbors can see. So I'm not sorry that the lighting's bad. Anyways, it's this like cute little maid outfit the reason why i don't think i can show you guys is that the top is like pretty sheer so you guys are going to be able to kind of see like everything that's going on on the top but it's like this cute little maid outfit so if you guys get it you get it and that's the type of video i think i'm going to make today i think it'll be fun and then i have to order some lingerie because not only am i going to do a little lingerie um, video for here on YouTube, a little try on. I'm gonna do a more in depth try on on the fun site, um, like behind the scenes. So I think that'll be really fun. But I got this one a while ago and I just haven't worn it yet. And I think it'll be really fun today and I'm feeling cute. So I think I'm gonna do this one. And then after I shoot this video, I have another video that I wanna shoot. Um, I am going to order that lingerie. That lingerie haul should hopefully be ready for next week. That's like the haul I have planned for, ah, the haul I have planned for next week is gonna be a lingerie one, so I'm really excited. But um, I have to order the stuff for that haul for next week and the videos for next week after I do these videos. I really hope my makeup doesn't get messed up. It might get messed up with one of the videos I'm wanting to shoot, but we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I don't know how much detail I can give you guys here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, guys, we are moving to the second location. I have my candles. Anyways, I'm going to set this up. We are going to record this video. We might record one more because we're doing pretty good on time, which I'm happy about. So... We might go for three videos. Look at us. Look at us. Okay, guys, we are all done. We are in a different outfit. Um, we ended up only, we, I ended up only recording one of the videos because, uh, or sorry, two videos, not three, because I just, I was getting tired and I had more t um, TikToks I had to film um, and like pictures I had to take and like da 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 whatever and we're running later into the day and I really 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 should go to the gym today so I want to stay to that um but yeah so now I'm just chilling I'm posting some TikToks I'm kind of going through reading comments da, 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 da. I get asked often like how I handle the hate and I just went through a video I had one that got a million views and usually those ones are the ones where you get a lot of hate comments and so I'll usually avoid the comment section right when it comes out, but I like to make funny responses, like, back to people, um, definitely when they're being hateful. And so I will like, be scrolling TikTok, I'll see a sound, and people say the same thing to me all the time. I think any creator can experience that. It's pretty much the same thing. So I'll see a sound, and I'll be like, oh, that's a funny response for what and what. And then later when I have time, I'll go back and find a negative comment <laughs> to make the make the video with because it's funny. I think it's funny. I, I the hate got to me in the beginning. It was hard. Um, it, people just have like a very negative connotation about people like me or not even people like me, like because you don't know me or these people don't know me, you know, um, people that do what I do. And honestly, I got that same hate beforehand. So nothing really changed. People just didn't like my body. They and people are mean about it but like 
the only time I've ever hated somebody for no reason, like without knowing them or anything, was out of jealousy. And then I recognized that one day and I've worked ever since to change it. It's part of why I started doing TikTok. It's all wrapped into that reason of not feeling confident, not putting myself out there, not liking myself, da 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 all of that stuff. That's part of the mesh of reasons why I started. It was to get out of my comfort zone and grow my confidence. So I stopped being such a negative Nancy to random women and men online, you know, because I was just, I was just jealous. And I think a prime example is like, I was looking through the uh, comments and some lady was commenting, there's kids, you're a stripper, get off of here. And then I go to her page and it says, I love Jesus. And I'm scrolling down. Her is out in, in this like sexy little like video that she was making her butts in the camera shaking it more than I you know like I, I'm like man, man at least I don't have a kid in the same video at least I don't have a kid present in my thirst traps you know so it's just people are people are just jealous men when men comment I think it is basically the same thing they're either coming from a place of either a different culture where I'm not gonna dive into that or they're coming from a place of like, I, I literally think it's the same thing of just not liking me because whatever. So it just, I don't know. It just doesn't bug me that much. And I've always said that if I, if you, if I cared about what people thought about me, I should have never started social media and I should have never started the fun site, you know? And if you do care deeply about what other people say and think of you, it, you can't do it. Like I know for a fact that like a really good reason why I'm able to have such a good like mental health while doing all of this stuff is that I, I could care less about what people think. I have a little bit of an upper hand on that, I think, compared to most people because I had a, a life experience like cancer that really showed me that like at the end of things when you're staring at the bottom of a you don't care about what people think. You don't care about what so-and-so said online. You don't care. What you care about is feeling good in your body. What you remember is good memories. Like you remember positive stuff, positive feelings, positive whatever. And like that's the stuff that's going to be important to you in the end. And I love feeling confident in my body. I'm more confident than ever. Way more confident when I started TikTok. I'm getting so comfortable with my sexuality, with the fun site, which has been so fun because that's been so much like I have such a story with that whatever so much shame growing up and now I get to express it in the way I want to and experiment and like whatever and I love it um and so yeah I just focus I guess primarily on the positives more than the negative yeah, more than the negatives and then I also made sure that before ever entering this industry business whatever I really had the mindset of not caring about what people thought about me so anyways uh, let's do our body measurements because your girl's already in a bikini, so we might as well just get it done now, and then we're going to take off to the gym, and yeah, that'll be, that might be the end of the, the vloggy vlog. I don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs> hello, 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 you guys. We are back for week two of the measurements updates. I'm so proud of myself because I'm actually following through this time and that is an improvement. This is the second week. I know it's not much. I know it's not much, but before we didn't even get to the second week. So the fact that we're at the second week, I'm happy about. But anyways, so the last time I updated you guys, um, I had, let me see, what was that? Okay. Yeah. So I had just switched over to the new program with my new trainer. Um, I've been loving it still so far. We have been slowly dialing back in my eating habits, uh, little by little. I am still not a hard, hardcore, like counting my calories and everything like that. However, I am still tracking my protein primarily and then calorie estimation is what I call it. So I've been feeling great. We've been doing good. Um, this week I have been, um, a period in PMSing. So I have eating way too much chocolate um <laughs> but that's okay that's fine every once in a while it's okay it's just whatever I want like all I want is chocolate that's all I want so anyways um that was a thrown off a little bit plus I downed like I haven't been doing as much cardio which is a positive like that's why I've been loving this personal trainer is because on weeks where I am having a little bit more difficult time keeping up with my intense workout schedule she allows me the space to just kind of like take a step back i've been 
hitting all of my weightlifting. It's just usually afterwards, I'll do 30 minutes of cardio after every single weightlifting session. I haven't done that at all this week. I will be doing it today and then my next two weightlifting sections. Um, but other than that, like I did skip about three days worth of cardio because I was also supposed to do cardio on Tuesday, which is my off day from weightlifting and I didn't even do that. But it's okay, I'm learning the balance. I'm learning to still stick with my diet and the lifestyle that I wanna have, but really truly turning it into a lifestyle and sometimes life gets in the way and I just couldn't do, my 100% just looked different this week. You know, I'm doing 100%, it just looks a little bit different this week and that's okay. That's what I'm learning and that it is okay. So anyways, we are up to five, no, five days of weight training. Three of them are heavy lift booty days. So we're doing hip thrust, leg extension, RDLs, um, goblin squats, squats, um, things like that. We're doing heavy weight, lower body days because I'm also working on the thighs, getting them nice and toned, which I've been seeing such an improvement in and I'm so happy. And then two of those days, I do upper body work um, and that is consistent of some lower body, more full body, I guess. Like there's um, ah, deadlifts, sorry. <laughs> Farmers walks and then the typical like shoulder presses, dumbbell raises, um, dumbbell curls, you know, uh, face pulls, typical upper body exercises. But the major lift on that day is a deadlift and a farmer's walk. Um, so we have definitely been gaining some muscle. The heavy lifting has definitely put some muscle on my body. The last time we checked in as well, I did it with, um, I also told you guys about my body scan. I do not have my body scan scheduled again for another month. So in between that, we are going to stick with the measurements. Um, we're not gonna go to the scale. The only time we're ever gonna weigh ourselves is when we do the full body of measurements once a month. So anyways, let's get to this. My diet right now is still, I went back up to around 2000 to 2200, which is where I knew I should be. And I've been listening to myself. Um, and then yeah, six days of working out. Oh, and then on the sixth day is cardio. I'm 5'7", someone asked me. I'm 5'7", and yeah, so tall gal. Yeah, sorry guys. Anyways, let me focus, sorry. Like I'm yelling at you guys like it's over. I'm ADD, that's what it's called. Anyways, yeah, sorry. My waist is a 31. I believe that's exactly what it was last time. Let's do the booty. This is part of the booty. It sticks out the most. Bam. So, 45 and a half. We're getting close to 46 though. That's exciting. Look at my hat. And anyways, let's do the thighs now. So 31, 45.5, the thighs, twenty seven. This one. Twenty-seven. Alrighty, and then the chest. I don't think the chest is ever really gonna change. Sorry, you guys. I had an alarm that went off. Dang it. Anyways, I don't think the chest is ever gonna change. I don't know how that works. I guess if I get bigger, thirty. Ooh, Thirty-nine and a half. The chest was off last time though, I do remember because I had a compression bra on, so obviously it's gonna be off. And then also, I like I said, I don't think it's gonna change unless I like gain a ton of weight. Um, okay. So all the measurements are about the same, except for the booty, if I'm remembering right. If, if I'm remembering right, I have to go back and watch the last video. I'm not too sure. I should have written it down. I know, please don't yell at me. Anyways, I believe I'm about a half an inch bigger on the booty, the legs, the waist, everything else is looking the same. Um, but yeah, that is where I'm at. We'll do a little like four, two, <laughs> 
and that's the current look right now. I'm super happy, you guys. I've been feeling great. I've been feeling healthy. I've been feeling energized. I haven't felt tired. I haven't felt like I'm exhausting myself too much. Um, I do like being a curvier gal. I've told you guys that before, so I'm not looking to get as small as I possibly can. So switching out the muscle for the fat, putting on more muscle while losing that fat, even though the scale is, well, technically last time it went up, um, the overall numbers and what I'm going for is going in the right direction. So I'm, if you're coming here to, to see me shrink into like this little small little string bean, that's not going to happen. I do plan to keep my size overall. Like I said, just cut a little bit of fat and then continue to put on the muscle because I like feeling strong, you guys. I like feeling strong. I like feeling curvy. I like feeling thick. I like the way the booty looks. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. But yeah, I'm super happy with the progress so far. If you guys want me to go in deeper with like exactly what I'm doing with my diet, I can do that. Or the exact, um, cause I'm pretty much on like a workout plan that I do every single, like my workouts don't change. Um, I stick with the same one until like two months and then we'll switch it. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see that, I can show you guys that as well. But I think I'm gonna end a little bit of the yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thanks for seeing what it is like a day in my life with the dude being an SW worker. I don't know what I'm allowed to say here. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. You guys saw the business part of it this morning. I had a little bit of a meeting and then I went ahead at filmed content. I will then be going to the gym and then I'll come home. I'll edit said content. But other than that, like that's my day. So I think the ending of the night is going to be a little bit boring. So I don't think I want to show you guys that, but I'll basically just come home. I'll edit said content and then I will send it out. But yeah, that is all. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being my friend. Thanks for being little slivers of perfection in this universe. And I appreciate and love you guys so much. Bye.